This is Tiger. This is Katie. <laughs> Katie's always here. Tiger is here for the first time. He's a beautiful boy. His tail is just uh, constantly wagging. And I found <laughs> a good spot. He says, yeah, oh, oh, I love that. <laughs> so owner surrender, huh? Yes, he was owner surrendered with his sister um, <laughs> because they said the they couldn't have dogs in their home for whatever reason. And so they brought the, the duo to us and the sister got adopted. So oh. now it's... It's all Tiger. Oh, he's yeah. a five-month-old plot hound mix. He's going to be a big boy. Yeah, I see his paws. It's, he's going to grow <laughs> into those paws a little bit. It's going to yeah. be substantial, I think, at some point. He's got a great disposition, a lot more energy, too. He's got more energy than yeah. he's showing right now, I should tell you that. <laughs> but, uh, he comes down with, uh, yeah. with scratches. Look, look, look at your picture. Look at, look, look at your <laughs> Work your oh, magic. Your there you go. There you go. <laughs> it's your good side here. All right, so this is going to be a good dog for you to be able to get today. Now, while he's looking around and sniffing stuff, I want to tell you about Canelo, <laughs> yes. who is one of our success stories. Yeah, we brought him in two weeks ago. And, and he got adopted by this awesome it, lady yeah. who's ready to spoil those ears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love that. We love that. And she's doing something today that certainly we're going to do and certainly we hope you want to do with Tiger as well. And that is <laughs> when you go and take your dog out for a walk, it's not just go, hey, let's go. There's some yeah. things you need to know to have them really get the hang, hang of it and it makes it easier for them to be around other animals as well. Yeah, and it can also just keep it more entertaining for you. So next week um, is National Walk Your Dog Week. Oh. The whole week. The whole week, apparently. Okay. <laughs> so um, there, yeah, there's some fun stuff that you can do to, to keep to keep the walks interesting. So something that I really like to do is let my dog take the lead. So when I take him to parks, I'll let him like kind of be the navigator. Mm -hmm. So that's really fun. It keeps it in, you know, the balls in their court. Um, and then there's also cool things like you can download an app called Woof Tracks or Rescue Walk, mm -hmm. and you can raise money while you're walking. So really? like for a certain distance, you raise money to a designated shelter or animal rescue group that you can pick. I've never heard. That's yeah, great. Um, you can take your dog on a walking trail instead of maybe just like the typical walk around the neighborhood. You can invite a friend along because you know dogs love company. Um, and then like you said earlier, you can add in some training. So like bring some treats, teach them, you know, some new tricks to keep it interesting, test their nose out. Um, and you know, if you want to walk a dog, uh, <laughs> the Houston Humane Society has taken in probably about 100 animals through animal cruelty seizures in the last couple weeks. And so we are always in need of dog walkers. So if you don't have a dog of your own, or maybe your dog isn't super excited about going on walks in the heat, you can always come and we'll find you one. Go by the Humane <laughs> Society and sign up for that. They're open today from 11 to 5.30. Tiger's waiting for you. Located at 14700 Almeda Road. 713-433-6421. We have other animals in need of adoption as well on our Adopt the Pet section, but Tiger says, pay no attention to that. <laughs> I'm the one today, so go out and get Tiger today. He is ready. He is so nice and comfortable. <laughs> hey, it's a good day to do that. Temperatures are on the warm side, yes, but it's a good day, so get on out there.